Hi, I'm Nick from Glowforge, and today I'm gonna to show you how to unbox and set up your aura so you can start creating. We're gonna cover everything you need to know, and in no time, you'll be ready to make great things. So let's get started. First, let's check your aura box for damage. If anything looks wrong at any point in the process, just contact us and let us know. We're here to help. But if everything looks good, pop that box on the floor or onto a large flat surface like this and open it up. Oh, and one quick note. As you go through the process, be sure to save all your packaging material. It's specially designed to protect your aura, so don't throw it away. With two hands, lift the top piece of foam. You'll see your aura underneath. And then lift the aura out of the box and place it on a flat, stable, sturdy surface. You'll notice a cardboard sleeve at the bottom of the box. We'll need it shortly, but just put it aside for now. Open the aura lid, and inside you'll find two cardboard boxes containing the laser head, power cable, and exhaust hose. Open the one closest to the front of the printer and take out the hose and the power cord and set them aside. Then let's take out the empty box. Next, we're going to attach the laser head. The laser head is in the foam block that's nestled inside the second cardboard box. Take off the small square of foam from the top, and you'll see the laser head. It's the black cube with the Glowforge logo on the top. Now it's already attached to your aura by the silver cable coming from the back of the foam. So take care not to unplug it as you lift the laser head gently out of the packaging. Then, with the laser head in one hand, you can use your other hand to remove the cardboard insert and the foam block. Now we're gonna place the laser head onto the black square that sits on the two silver rails running across your aura. That's the magnetic dock. Four magnets on the dock will help the laser head click into place just like this. And the Glowforge logo should read left to right. There are also two foam pieces to the left and the right of the silver rails that we need to remove. Just pull them out, then up, and put it in the box with the other packaging. Now, let's double check that the laser arm is straight. Holding the black end caps on either side, pull the laser arm all the way to the front. Apply a little bit of pressure towards you to ensure both end caps sit flush with the front of your aura. Now, we're gonna push it all the way to the back of the printer. And again, apply slight pressure, this time away from you, to check that the end caps are exactly where they should be. And that's it. Now, remember that cardboard sleeve? Open it and take out the cutting tray and slide it into your aura. There are two tabs on the left and the right sides. They'll sit neatly into the slots on either side of your printer, and it should be a pretty snug fit. Now there's just a few more steps left. Let's finish up by connecting the exhaust hose to the back of your aura. The rubber ring on the hose will slide over the collar on the aura's exhaust port. Push it on as far as it'll go and make sure it's snug. If you have a Glowforge personal filter, you can connect it to the other end of the exhaust hose. Our personal filter setup video will show you how. You can find it in our help and learning center at support.glowforge.com. If you don't have a personal filter, you can also visit the help and learning center for more information about preparing your exhaust and ventilation before you start creating. Finally, connect the power cord to the back of your aura and then plug it into an outlet. It'll turn on immediately. There's no power switch on your aura. You can turn it on and off by turning on or off the power to the outlet, or simply leave it plugged in all the time and aura will automatically go to sleep after 30 minutes of inactivity. It'll wake up if you lift the lid or press the button. And congratulations, your aura is ready to be connected to Wi-Fi for the next part of the setup process. Go to setup.glowforge.com and we'll get you online so you can start creating. And don't forget, if you have a personal filter, visit our help and learning center at support.glowforge.com for video instructions on setting it up, as well as many other guides to getting the most out of your new Glowforge aura.